specialized portions of tech that are really shining. Uh, is gaming, is gaming the... Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think yes and no, right? I, I think gaming's changed quite a lot, right? So, I mean, I, there's, there's three sides of gaming, right? So you have console development, which are, are big projects, and you know, they cost, you know, 50, 100 million dollars to make games, so things like Call of Duty and, and, and Skyrim and things like that. Then you have the social platforms, which you know, companies like Zynga, obviously, and Bam, um, are doing very well. So I think, in the end, you have that side. Um, and then, you know, there's all this browser-based stuff that I think people just aren't really sure what to do. I think, I think you're seeing most stuff in gaming go to free-to-play. So I, I think that there, there is a lot of opportunity. And, you know, where I would agree, too, that you don't necessarily need experience. In gaming, there's a lot of ways to get experience that you might not be able to get in tech, right? Like, there's a lot of modding communities around games. There, there's a lot of community support forms around games. So I would tell people, if you want to get into gaming, you need to get involved in those spaces. Right? If you want to be an artist in games or a designer in games, then you know, go to the modding community and ask if you can help out. You're not going to get paid, but the experience is valuable. And the important thing is that you have something in your portfolio to show people if you're on the creative side. And if you're on the tech side, I think I, you know, there's tons of opportunity. I mean, how many people are making iOS games? How many people are making Android games? And usually those are you know, companies of two or three people. So I think if you have some technical ability, you can reach out to those forums and see if you can help people. Or, you know, I always encourage people too. It's, you know, you look at it today and your birds, right? For them, it was kind of this silly little idea that sold 60 million copies. So you never know what's going to work. You never know what's not going to work. So I would encourage people to, if you can't get a job, then, you know, use your skills in the area that you're passionate about. And, you know, you'll have the portfolio, you'll have the work to show people, and I think there, there's a lot of companies who will take a risk on people. And I agree, it's not always about experience, it's really more about the passion and desire to do it. I mean, you got to have the talent, right? If you want to be an artist and you, and you draw stick figures, you're, you're not going to be making Call of Duty. But, you know, I, there's other opportunities inside of gaming. There's production, there's tech, there's a lot of ways that you can go. I mean, all those companies need marketing help, they all need sales help, they all need customer support help. So I think there's, there's a lot of areas you can look at. So I would say um, there's a lot of opportunities for engineers, of course, to take people. Um, like we have many opportunities in New York, here in California, but um, obviously you can't be a, just an engineer anymore. You have to, again, I emphasize this, you have to come out of your zone and be able to communicate with business people and also artists. Because a lot of gaming companies, um, they are working with artists to come up with idea. So. Um, now is not a time to just do coding. You have to come out of that. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, you know location. Uh, you know you, you do New York and uh, your all your all your positions are in the area. No, we've got a studio up in Washington too, up in Mississauga as well. Um, but I would tell people too, uh, especially with gaming, and probably more gaming than tech. But if you want to be in gaming, you have to be. You can't be tied down to San Francisco. You can't say I just want to work in California. You really have to be open to go anywhere. Uh, most gaming studios, you know, unfortunately, are not in California. You know, really, if you want to be gaming on the creative or on the tech side, you know, Austin is a huge place to go. There's a lot, a lot of studios, and a lot of work in Texas. Uh, Canada's got a lot of work too. So I think you just have to be mobile and, and be willing to, you know, to say, listen, I'm willing to take a chance and take a flyer and go somewhere. And again, I think in gaming, and she was right. It's it's all about passion. You know, I think. If you really look at the best games that are made today, it's not made by people who just don't care. Right? It's made by people who really do care and who are really passionate about the space. And that's why you see, I think especially this year, if you look at the last five months, I th this might be the best year for gamers that's ever been. You know, with all the AAA titles and all the big things that have come out. But, you know, I can tell you honestly, I've, I've worked with a lot of those people, I know a lot of them. And, you know, they're passionate about what they do. So I think that's, you know, that, that's number one. Um, and then number two is, yeah, being, being willing to, to go anywhere to do the work. I think that's, and, and probably valid in tech too, although there's more tech opportunities in California than there probably are in, in, in the middle of the country. Right. And, and Jamie, I know you're, you're not a gamer, or your company's not a gaming company, right? Not a gaming company, no, but uh, a few of our board members, um, uh, it's uh, Ben Desaad, uh, as an example, one of our, uh, one of our board members, um, actually. <laughs>